What's up guys, this is Dr. Clay Sankey, chiropractor at True Motion Therapy in Charlotte. And today I'm gonna to take you through what a typical treatment would look like for somebody coming in with a calf or foot complaint. So we're gonna run through cold laser, we're gonna do some soft tissue work, and we're gonna do some adjustments as well. So to start, we are gonna do some cold laser through the calf and the foot. Now cold laser is an awesome technology that we have here in the office. It promotes tissue healing, it helps reduce pain. We use it on a variety of cases, a lot of, uh, a lot of tendonitis type cases in general, general musculoskeletal pain. Treatments usually last about three minutes with the laser, so we're just going to fast forward right through that for you. Alright, and we're back. So now that we got the muscles and the fascia and everything all warmed up with the laser, we are going to do some soft tissue work. Doesn't matter if somebody's coming in with only calf pain or only foot pain, we're typically going to work through both areas with the soft tissue work because these muscles are just so interconnected, everything works together. So if we only address one area, we're only doing half the job. So. Uh, what would this treatment typically be good for? Why would we be running through a treatment like you're seeing right now? Well, if somebody comes in with Achilles tendonitis, it, we would do something very similar to what you're seeing today. If they come in with plantar fasciitis, even a sprained ankle, we're still going to work through the calf and the foot. So we're just going to do some soft tissue work here through the calf muscles and then down into the plantar fascia. And again, we will fast forward through this so as not to bore you. <laughs> All right, now that we finished doing soft tissue work through the calf muscles and into the plantar fascia, we're actually gonna do a little bit of massage cupping. So the cupping's really nice because it decompresses the skin, lifts up on that skin, draws blood to the surface. That's where your lymphatic system lives. So if we can draw you know, fluid up to that lymphatic system, it really just helps flush everything out of this area. All right, now I've got her flipped over on her back. We're gonna do a little bit more soft tissue work through the plantar fascia and through these muscles that go into the toes especially into this big toe here. The big toe is extremely important. Having good mobility through your big toe is crucial for health throughout the entire body. So your big toe, your big toe joint here is your first link in your mobility chain. When we walk, when we toe off, when we push off the ground, it is the first movement that happens. So if we do not have good mobility in this area, it can have effects up the chain into the ankle, into the knee and the hip and so on. So restoring or having good, good mobility in this big toe is very important. Okay, now that we've got the muscles all nice and loosened up, we're gonna start mobilizing the joints. I'm gonna start up here in the ankle joint. The ankle joint is very commonly stiff in people. If we don't have good mobility, in the ankle, it can cause all sorts of issues. Plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, can cause knee problems, hip problems. So it's important to have good mobility in the ankle joint. Right now we're just doing some very gentle mobilizations through here. All right, moving down into the midfoot. Gonna get a nice little pull here. Good. And into the toes as well. All right, so that is a typical treatment of the calf and the foot for calf and or foot pain. If you or someone you know is experiencing calf or foot pain, have them give us a call. We would love to work with you.